Hey y'all and welcome back to Wind Down with Lee. Y'all may notice something a little bit different. I have moved my location yet again. Today is such a nice day and I felt like being outdoors. You know, get some of this vitamin D in me, you feel me? Have y'all ever wondered how people achieve this flawless makeup look but still look very natural? That's what I'm gonna show you today. Make sure you catch every single step until the end so you can see exactly how this turns out. Let's do it. Okay, so if y'all have been rocking with me for a minute, then y'all know that I typically do my brows first. I know some people like to do them last, but I do my brows first to get them out the way because they're the most difficult for me to actually get in. If your brow's not right, the look is just not right. What I'm gonna be using is the Benefit Brow, and I'm using the, the shade number six right here. I did go ahead and change my shade to shade number five just here recently, but either oil will work. Just make sure that it complements your eyebrows like it complements mine. And once we brush them and get them all in place, honey, I go in with my Born This Way Concealer, the shade Hazelnut. Now I have changed this since two to the shade Maple, but not for any other reason other than it was just I wanted to change and just see how that looked but I do love the shade hazelnut and I just put this right up under my brow to carve it out give me that nice little shape that I want and then once I do this I go ahead and blend everything in the thing with this is just to make sure that you choose the right concealer and blend it in well to your skin okay y'all that's it that it's just that simple like there's nothing else to it okay <laughs> i don't want you to think too hard into the process okay when i'm getting ready to do like this flawless seamless look i do try to do the top portion of my brows most of the time i haven't been but in this instance i did and i just used the foundation that i was going to use because i didn't want it to look stark i didn't want it to look very focused on my brows i wanted them to look very natural because this is a very natural look i just used basically my laura mercier i put that on top using the same brush that i used to carve out the bottom and then i went ahead and blended that in also just make sure that you wipe the product off of the brush that you're gonna blend with because you probably use it to blend at the bottom and you got some product on it so just clean it off baby make sure that it's clean before you get ready to use it on top and then mm, mwah, you'll be good to hook so that's two brushes using the same you that's using the same brushes for two different products basically in the same way but try not to cross blend the actual colors because you don't want the top to look like the bottom right no yeah and again look at that hair honey like i was loving my hair in this video it was giving me everything that i wanted it to give until i had to wash it that's neither here nor there that's a whole nother video if you haven't caught it yet go back and check it out because it is my wash day my wash moisturize and braid out routine okay check that out so now is the simple stuff which is we're gonna put on that laura mercier i like to use a kabuki brush because it's flat and all i do is basically just pat that in all over the place there's no brushing it or pulling it or you know moving the product around like that you want to basically stamp it or stipple it i should say you want to stipple it into your skin and that's how you blend it in okay and just make sure you put it everywhere you'll notice i still do not put foundation directly under my eyes like right here under the bottom i don't put the foundation in that part because again it is the most gentle softest part of your face of your eyes and you don't want to weigh it down with too much product so keep it simple babies okay all right that hair is banging Woo! so pretty next i go in with my maybelline age rewind concealer in the shade hazelnut number 148 if y'all know me i've been rocking with this product for a long time and i had to come back to it because i had been using other things and the contour that i'm using is fenty beauty's contour and i like this contour because it's dark enough to blend on top of most of my shade of foundations okay <laughs> then i'm going in and i'm going to set that because Again, anything that's wet needs to be set. And basically, I'm setting my under eyes first before I do the rest of my face. And I'm going to let it bake while I do everything else. This is just my process. You can do it how you choose. Just make sure that everything wet is set. Off camera, I did do a little bronzer on my eyes to give it that, that hint of brown that you see. But I didn't. And, and I just put on some basic mascara, which is my Lancome big montessua mascara honey and if you didn't see my highly requested uh, eyeliner and mascara video that is what that is on so you can look at that video and see how i apply it if you don't know how to apply eyeliner and mascara okay i didn't show this to you guys on camera but off camera i did use my charlotte tilbury bronzer 
on top of the same place where I focused the Fenty Beauty matchstick. I typically, typically, typically show this to you guys. I don't know, I must have had a brain cramp. However, if you wanna see what those products are, you can check out my last makeup video, which is the cut crease video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can see it in there, y'all. I'm so sorry, like, I don't know what happened, but those are gonna go to the missing files, okay? And then you see me going in here with my favorite, one of my favorite blushes from Ulta. It's the trio. And I use the red out of this trio because I just want to bring a little color back to my face because everything else that I was using was pretty much neutral. Because again, this is a natural, neutral look. But it is it's simple, but it's still pretty. Like it gets the job done, okay? I go on my favorite setting spray because this setting spray is like skin. Like it makes you look dewy, yeah. I like the, the MAC Fix It because it gives me that dewy look and I like dewy on a summer day. It just looks good. Then I go in with my lip liner from The Perfect Nude. And I like this lip liner. I use this lip liner when I use brown on almost every one of these videos because I think it's pretty and it goes and it comes off so easily, like so well. If you don't know, you know. Look at any video where I use it and you'll see. It comes off even on top of Carmex, y'all. Like over your doggone lip gloss, your lip balm. What lip liner you know does that? None. I wait. Then I go in with my Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade 45. Don't make me pronounce the name of this, but pretty much it is a pretty pinkish red color. And I didn't, since my face didn't pop out, I wanted my lips to do some talking. Not all the talking, but some talking, right? And y'all know, if y'all know me, y'all know I love red. Red is my color. So this is not necessarily red. I try to do something a little different, but you feel me, right? And then after that, I go in with my NYX uh, Praline Lip Gloss because I wanted just that little pucker kiss of a shade of neutral there in the center so that the look won't be taken over by the red. So, yeah. And then that's it. Like, what do you guys think? Y'all gotta let me know in the comments. I know I was rambling through this, la, 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 but hopefully you got the gist of it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.